What is going on, everybody? So, San Diego Studios just finished off another live stream. This one was classified as The Little Things. And it's funny because I was watching this live stream and I was just saying to myself that if they are classifying these things as little things, because I thought that some of these changes were pretty damn big. So if they're only classifying these as little changes, little things to the game, then this just goes to tell you how good this damn game is going to be. But I'm just going to be running over a couple things that they were talking about in this live stream that stood out to me the most. First off, they released two more legends as they usually do, the first being Luis Aparicio. And some people may not think that this legend looks too good from the hitting stats wise. I mean, 53 contact versus righty, 72 versus lefties. But the 99 vision, they said in the live stream too that it kind of reminds them as of Ozzy Smith in MLB 16. I completely agree with that, man. The hitting stats may not be there, but he has amazing vision. He has very good fielding. I mean, 83 uh, arm strength for a shortstop is not too bad too. Definitely can make that throw over there to first base. And 98 speed. So that just goes to show you that this guy is going to have a lot of speed. He has very good uh, base, running base running stats too. So definitely a good speed guy. I mean, 99 vision. You can't ignore that, man. Yes, he only uh, may have like 53 contact versus righties. But the 72 contact versus lefties isn't even too bad. And the 99 vision is going to be a big factor on this on this card too, especially with that 98 speed and the very good fielding stats. Man, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even think this this card would be even close to bad. This card's not even this card isn't the best card you've seen in your life, but it's not the worst. Definitely, some people may think this card looks pretty damn bad, but I don't even think it looks half bad at all. And the legend that I thought was going to be uh, in this game for sure, because they may have uh, hinted at this player a, cer a certain amount of times in just some trailers and stuff, Jason Giambi. They're releasing another card in this damn game with amazing-ass power, man. 99 power on this Jason Giambi. And this is only a gold, too, because I don't know if anyone noticed this, too, but when they were talking about Jason Giambi, they just said this was going to be one version of of Jason Giambi so there may be a couple versions of Jason Giambi in this game and just every other legend in this game there may be a couple versions of them because this year they're gonna be focusing on more of a year-to-year -year basis rather than what they did in MLB 16 so I mean this Jason Giambi card doesn't even look too bad man I mean 75 contact versus righties 51 versus lefties the 99 power versus righties 75 versus lefties and the 64 vision too so that's not even too bad man like 64 vision is definitely manageable and it's not like he has like 30 something 40 something vision you mean just have to like close your eyes pretty much and pray that he gets a hold of it that's pretty decent vision so that's not even half bad of a card man like they may even release a higher overall jason giambi at some point in time but those were the two legends they released in this uh in this live stream that they did so i'm going to be going over a couple other things they were talking about in this live stream too first off they were talking about the new universal profile which was pretty damn cool man they were talking about the they were talking about that there was going to be new uh, just uh, achievements and stuff you could do. And there's stats. Stats on stats on stats pretty much for like every single stat in the game. And just, just for every single position. So there's going to be a bunch of uh, new achievements. And the cool thing I thought about this too is that you can now customize your uh, universal profile. With kind of like if you play Call of Duty then this may look a little bit familiar to you with the like the calling card and the emblem and all this stuff because you can customize your own little uh, calling card, I guess you could say, the Universal Profile banner with just your favorite team or whatever team you want to rock at that moment, you can customize. So that's pretty cool, man. They also said that you're going to be able to see that in-game, so when you play somebody, you'll be able to see your opponent's uh, Universal Profile little card thing. So that's pretty damn cool, man. Another thing they talked about in this live stream was Challenge of the Week, and this was very cool because you do some of these challenges, you have a very, not a very good chance, I was going to say very good chance. No, don't want to get anybody anybody's hopes up or anything but you do have a chance to win some crazy shit like i couldn't even believe what they were showing on the screen like you have a chance to win an autographed ken griffey jr bat and you also have a chance to win a signed noah Syndergaard jersey so dude that's a pretty those are two pretty sick awards if you ask me for doing these challenges of the week so challenge of the week is back those are going to be pretty damn sick this year there's gonna be way more prizes uh like they said so challenge of the week is going to be epic again this year 
They also discussed uniforms a little bit, and some of these teams, they said, may have up to 11 uniforms, and they also said, too, that for certain teams like the Yankees and other teams who may not have a lot of throwback uniforms, because they kind of rock the same uniforms for ever since they were even uh, alive, pretty much. So they said that if a certain team doesn't have a lot of uniforms or something, they're going to cancel that out and put that into another team's or something like that. So there's going to be a lot of new uniforms in this game, which is pretty sick because I know a lot of people care about that. Me included, that would be pretty damn sick to see a bunch of teams with all their throwback uniforms and stuff. So we are definitely going to see that. Kind of a little cool feature right here, if you ask me. They are changing the design of diamond cards in this game. So these look pretty sick. I mean, even last year, like MLB 16, they had pretty sick uh, looking diamond cards in the game. So this year, they're going to be looking sick again with a whole new design. One thing they said about BR in this too that kind of stood out to me too was that every single month, they're going to be changing up the rewards. So possibly like a new card comes out in a certain month, you may have a better chance of getting those cards and stuff, which is very cool, man, because I don't think they did that in the previous game. So every single month, they're going to be changing up the rewards. So you may have a better chance of getting some uh, certain players on a month to month basis. Last two things that they said in this live stream that kind of stood out to me was there is going to be new announcers in this game. Two new announcers, they said, and that is going to be the topic of discussion in the next uh, live stream they do on the third second or third I believe it's on and they're going to be discussing the new announcers in the game So that's gonna be f that's gonna be very cool Everybody I'm talking every single person playing this game wants to see new announcers And it looks like we're going to get two more in this game I mean we don't know what for uh, for what game mode yet because I think somebody mentioned that Ken Griffey jr. Is going to be doing some uh, announcing in retro mode So maybe that was one of them they were talking about and maybe they just have a new uh, color commentator or something for uh, online games and stuff because everybody's been looking for new announcers. I mean, Vaskersian kind of got, uh, he's kind of got worn out over the past couple years. So people are definitely looking for some new commentators for sure. Lastly, they also talked about how in online, when your pitcher runs out of energy, he is pretty much dead in a ditch, man. So I guess he's just going to plunk somebody or just lay down a meatball right down broadway pretty much if he runs out of energy so that's pretty cool man i like that personally because whenever you're playing br or something and somebody brings a flamethrower out of the pen or just somebody you can't even touch and they'll just leave him in the rest of the game even though he's out of energy completely but i guess this year they are doing something very new so whenever your pitcher runs out of energy in online he is going to be done you got to take that bastard out no more dominating people for a good amount of innings with people out of the pen so that was pretty much it for me at least there were a couple other things i may have talked about but those were the things that stood out to me the most uh, if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and i'm going to be doing more of these live stream reactions and stuff when they do uh, more live streams in the future obviously i'm looking forward to that new one when they talk about the new commentators in the game that's going to be very very cool if you ask me but yeah definitely leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and hope everybody has a good day